Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordam. We are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker in Last Aslanti and Unfair. In the previous episode we took care of the city of Hollow Eyes, a lot of Cyclops and bandits to kill. We are going to make a quick pit stop at the Kelly Barbarian camp. We do have a lot of stuff to sell and might as well also have a rest. Oh, please don't. Oh, thank God. Um, because we did spend all of our spells. And then we're going to go explore the other two areas where the sisters may have been seen. Well, not seen, where they went. Does anyone require my... According to the, the remaining sister. So for right now, I just want to come here to Mr. Doug the Merchant, or Doug the Merchant. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff to sell here. <clears throat> so just from all of the random crap we picked up, like the masterwork, great taxes and whatnot, these are all worth 100 gold. We have 8,600 gold. <clears throat> And now we can sell some more stuff, which we're not going to be using. So the Falcata is actually a pretty decent weapon, especially for someone like Rigongar. But we're going to be using Scimitar, so this can go. The Tongi is an exotic weapon, which nobody can use. Goes away. Dagger plus one. Let me just see here. As I do think I have, like, Cold Iron one. Durant, the Priest. This one can also go away. Uh, this can stay, stay, stay... These can all go. The Nobleman's Amusement. Am I ever going to use this? Not really. I'll, I'll keep it here just in case. But I don't think there's a reason for it. And Rage Claw is a barbarian weapon. I could give it to a midi. But really she's going to be using two-handed weapons. So I'm fine without that. We're going to sell some of this stuff. Uh, we can sell these here because we have plus threes. And just like that, 60k. Okay, <clears throat> so you have your armor on. Yes, you do. So let's talk to him. Let's spin the night. And we are freshened up. For a moment there I thought Ekundayo was what was here. But no, that's not. That's not Ekundayo's pet. So we have the Sepulchre of Forgotten Heroes, I believe. And we also have... The Forsaken Mound. <clears throat> I have some events in my kingdom. Which I kinda wanna go and check before I spend a lot of time here. So I think I'm going to go this way, uh, do the Sepulchre and then follow along and go to um, Silvershire, teleport the Barony, do my events and then come back. Yeah, that's my plan. Let's go over there then. We've done this, we have done that. Can't get that yet. Okay, Sepulchre. I probably should have swapped some spells <clears throat> on Cordampina. If this is the place I think it is, but Here. we will find out soon enough. Okay, so let's buff up. Yeah, th these freedom of movements at this point really should be um, death wards. All of the shiny lights. I think she's done casting. <clears throat> Go for that. Did you cast? Yes, you did. 
beautiful woman. And Juvie has also finished, so I want my mutagen on him. We can get our armor back on Valerie and we can proceed. I can see my destination. A massive stone door blocks the entrance. It has no knobs, buttons or other signs as to how to unlock it. However, a thick patch of moss has been scraped off the door's hinges, hinting that it's been opened recently. Hmm. So I expect Keb to work here. But I'm just... Before I do this, I'm actually going to turn this on. In case there will be more skill checks. So let's search for a way to unlock the door. You cannot find any physical mechanisms. Since the door must be opened through some magical means. Detect magic. Radiates a frame transmutation aura. Let's just speak the word cab. Without a sound, the door slides to the side, revealing the passage beyond. Okay, so simple enough. No checks required. Okay. Child play. Vordakai is our master. We are his humble servants. Brag. Oh, I, I don't really like this dungeon because of this thing. A barbarian sits leaning against the wall surrounded by dead bodies. He seems to be barely alive. His entire face is a bloody wound, tattered scraps of skin dangling from it. As he hears your footsteps, he blindly turns toward the sound and raises his sword with immense effort. Friend or foe? Let's say that he faces Sister Sentus. That witch! Look, I don't know who you are, but you cannot trust her. We made that mistake and look what happened. Who are you? I am Bragg, son of Verigan Dill, of the Tiger Lord tribe. Came from Numeria. If you meet my people, tell them where and how I died. Dead meat. Knock knock board now. Let's go. <laughs> what happened here? That cursed witch brought us here, blabbered on and on about some exalted mission, promised us Cyclops treasures. Well, look what we got. Soon as we entered, dead Cyclops attacked us. Then there was a flash of light and everything went insane. It was like a red-hot nail was driven into my brain. Had an irresistible urge to kill, didn't matter who. I resisted it, barely, but most of us weren't so lucky. It was a slaughter, a nightmare where it was impossible to tell friend from foe. We tried to retreat, but they followed. One grabbed my head and squeezed, almost cracked me open like a walnut. My eyes. Last thing I saw was his fingers. If Varha hadn't chopped off his hand and dragged me out of there, I'd be dead already. She slammed the door right on their noses. Oh, Varha. Haven't heard from her in a while. Uh, for a while. Probably dead now. Nice treasure hunting trip you had, huh? That's right. With all these Cyclops around, you really have to keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Jesus. Let's just say nothing here. Realizing no one is going to pay attention to his joke, Rigogar begins examining the stone walls with exaggerated indifference. I'll heal you. Don't bother. Who needs a blind cripple? Best to finish me. At least I'll, li I'll die like a fighter, sword in hand, ready to meet Gorham. Let's be good. Let's heal him. It's not yet your time. The barbarian's wounds close and his bleeding stops, but he remains blind. It will take much more powerful magic to restore his eyesight. He exhales with relief. Thank you. I'm not sure how to live on, what I'll do, but I'll figure something out. Okay, I have to go. Gorham, bless you. Sure, so the defaced sister sent them here and apparently things did not go very well for them. The broken body of a barbarian woman lies near the floor panel that opens a door. She died recently, probably from massive blood loss. This must be Farha. So I fully expect traps here. <clears throat> and some powerful enemies. And we have kind of like a puzzle here. It's not really a puzzle, but it's kind of a puzzle. Why are you all walking so slowly? Are you encumbered? Is anybody encumbered? I'm on medium. Hmm. What if I do this? Since I already have the buff from Bear's Endurance, <clears throat> I think I can do it like this. We already have a Cyclops enemy to deal with. And another one. Never okay, so let's buff up. Please not uh, take that off. 
Do I want Knock Knock fighting this defensively is the question. I think I'm gonna say no for now. Is the key I can give him this victory. though. Okay, we have haste. We are gonna sing the song of our people and charge in. I think I'm gonna send everybody over here and the leopard over there. See if we can finish this guy off quickly. <clears throat> There's the priest, we have to kill that guy quickly as well. Okay, dead. Everybody, go over there. You too. Okay, good. Let's, as usual, make use of our buffs before we explore. Barbarians. You guys should be my foes, but... Okay. Oh, there's... Okay. On the left as well. Um, so I would say Leopard, go keep them occupied. And you guys go over here. These are deceased. Traps. How long do you still have this for? 20 seconds, okay. What is the difficulty here? 38. Eh. It's hard to fail it, but I think I'm gonna keep on buffing. Don't wanna get too cocky. Zombie Cyclops, Zombie Cyclops, there's gonna be a priest somewhere, as we know. Sing. You are actually gonna try and bring this guy down. There is no priest, actually. Good job. Okay, <clears throat> so, if we open this, you hear the sound of doors opening somewhere deep in the dungeon. Where was it? This one? Not this one. Okay, now we have to basically go and hunt for the proper entrance. It's not here. Well, I'm... Ah, okay. There's a place over here. Never mind. Zombie Cyclops. I am yours to command. I've been Where to now? Someone this thing is hard as I can. Let us not hesitate. Open that way back. Let's Try to bring him down. Destroy. This is a cleric, even though it doesn't say it. Oh, traps. Okay, let, let's be careful with those traps, please. Oh, God. Hmm. We are gonna be careful with this, because I don't want to trigger these traps. <clears throat> and one thing you can do if you deal with something like this is, well, first of all, you can disable uh, the party AI. And that means you can give them uh, commands as you wish. Or if you want, you can just use turn-based mode as well. So I'm going to do that. We have Valerie attacking here. And you even have a lot more control of what you're doing, naturally. Let's just smack the guy. Okay. Uh, how do I end the turn? <laughs> I'm not used to playing in in, in turn-based mode. Cordon Pin is gonna shoot four times. Uh, sure. We shall overcome. Well done, woman. Well done. What are you hitting for? Oh, he's flat-footed. Okay, that's why. 
Rigongar, since we are... Pl oh, I forgot this. Since we are playing in... Oh, he's so low. I was gonna say, since we're playing in turn-based mode, I'm actually gonna use spell combat here. Because Magus... The Magus class is the one that I think benefits the most from playing in turn-based mode. Because you can really uh, pay attention to everything you want to do. The free actions, the swift actions and whatnot. But given that he's about to die, there's really no point in spending a spell here. I'm just gonna smack him. Die for me. And he died. And now what we do is we can move over here. Why not? In the turn. Juby is gonna try and bring that guy down. With a bomb. Will they ever learn? He saved. Plus 14, he rolled a 19. Okay, fair enough. Pass. Now I'm gonna use Knock Knock to Zilda's Trap. That way we can move more freely. And at this point, I can just kind of like disable turn based mode and just say charge. God, I hate that stupid negative energy. And if we had Death Ward, that negative energy would deal zero damage to us. <clears throat> it's one of the main reasons why I like that spell for these kinds of areas. I will not falter. You will not falter. Okay, good enough. Shiny thing. Shiny thing. I did it. I did. A secret door? Ah. A secret door with secrets. Okay. I, can see my I think our haste has worn off. It did. Me see, me keep. You see, you keep. <laughs> did it without breaking it. There are many rooms. Okay, this requires a trigger. <clears throat> Barbarians. You my As such, we go for another haste. Why oh, he's running around? I'm listening. Why is he running around? Hmm. I want to heal my pet. He's taking some hits. Should be good. Yes, he is. Focus on the goal. Okay, now we have to play around with this. <clears throat> There's a plate over here, a plate over there. This one is the first one for the entrance. This one is a red one. So if I press this button, this one closes. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> I think I think I know how I do this usually. I would do something like I'm thinking Leave Juby over there, then this door opens up. I can see my destination. New door. Uh, just to make sure, you cannot reach this area, right? Yeah, you cannot reach this area. Okay. Cannot go there either. This one is open, however. There's something so we can go here. Without a doubt. More barbarians. We are 1 minute and 13 of haste, so we can go. I am your shield. Man, Lingering Song just makes it so much more um, manageable. Together we stand. Uh, no, you, you stay where you are. Sorry. Stay there. Let us not hesitate. No fear! To victory! Ah! Ok. 
Okay, no, no. Everybody is super dead. Plate. I'm not sure if this one is timed because there are some timed ones. I think the one that opened was this one here. Or am I wrong? Where was the blue door? Ah, here. Wait, was it here? Are you open? No. No. Focus on the goal. Okay. Now, as far as all cat puzzles go, this one really isn't one of the worst ones. It's quite manageable, this one. To Not to say that I really enjoy it, because oh my god. No, Spectres are very bad. <clears throat> Spectres are terribly bad. Okay, everybody back up. We need to back up. Back up right now. Uh, go. Where can I go? Here. Leave. Dude, what the hell? They. Olympic runners or what? Because these guys will drain levels, I believe. Let's try and keep them occupied if possible. Yeah, minus two levels. Yeah, just focus on the leopard. This is why we want death wards. God damn it. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? And I, I think they also attack with touch. Which sucks. Okay, so we are gonna go for a fire schnick. Like this. You are doing your thing. Leopard will keep them busy as long as he lives. But, what? How did you jump to Juby? Guess I'll get split. No, 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 no. It's it's risky. Let's just back up for now. I want them all to focus on the leopard before I go in. Okay, animate dead is out, which is very good for us. Okay, we only hit one guy. Awesome. <laughs> but they are now occupied with the other enemies, so we can move in. I'm tossing bombs, Cordon Pina. Cordon Pina can go for a prayer here. Uh, stupid specters, man. Stupid specters. I hate you. But yeah, one of the ways to deal with Spectres is if you have a pet, I would suggest sitting the pet ahead. Poor pet. <clears throat> or if you have something like, for example, Animate Dead, do that. Because the summons don't really matter that much. So you can just send those in to tank. Oh, Juby can join us now. Cool. Okay, so now we have a red door. But for the red door, for the red door, oh, this is new, this is new, wait. I will guide. More Cyclops, we are out of haste. My skills are getting rusty. I'm Let me just check something here, sec. And I'm back. Uh, okay, so we are singing. We're gonna charge this guy. You are gonna bomb that guy. 
actually that guy. You guys focus on that one. And I guess I'll send the leopard over here to keep him busy. Oh, there's a negative energy trap in the, in the room. Um, I think this disables it. Not entirely sure, however. Let's let's test it out. Okay, I think. Okay, just clicking it works. He's dead. Hmm. Something tells me I remember what this trap is. I think it's a fatigue trap. Don't hesitate. Not a very nice one either. Don't die. I did it. Okay, so did. Mr. Cordum stays back okay. in case there's some kind of deadly trap. As you order. We do not want the main character to die, ever. Okay, seems like it's okay. We have haste. I am your man. Sing. Charge. <clears throat> Good. Ah, okay. That's the, that's the red circle thingy. This one, though, is timed, which is something that kind of <laughs> annoys me. Uh, let me just check something before I move too forward. Uh, our buffs are like 1 minute 30. You require my okay, so we're gonna leave Juby over there. And everybody else is gonna move ahead. I did it. Okay, wait, this opens. But this is just treasure. We'll check treasure out <clears throat> after the killing. The red door, I think, was like... Not that one? I thought it was that one, or this one. What is the color? It's orange. Orange, orange. Not that one. Man, it should be one of these. What the hell? I think no matter how many times I do this, how many times I play this game, I, I will never get this right the first time. It's kind of amazing, I will tell you. Um, it's not... Uh, wait. It's not here. Can't go there, can't go there. No. Okay, wait. Ah, it's this one. Okay. Okay, so I, I was just too slow, I think. Let's go here first, then. It doesn't last very long. Okay. Ooh, I think this is a bad spot, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's recast haste. Let's make sure you don't get left behind, please. Don't hesitate. But I think I remember these enemies here being <clears throat> somewhat annoying. So go there. Go. 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 You two just 
move up a little bit. Okay, we have a sorcerer, a cleric. So this should be the target number one, this is target number two. Tell me, what is your AC? 22 touch AC. Hmm. Get over there. Toss that. Uh, you stay where you are. Hmm. I may actually just swap targets right here. Like, after the charge, go there and go there. Uh, you are gonna... Oh God, stupid negative energy, man. AC. What is it? 17 touch. That's good for me. I'm dead. Uh, you two... Where is Knock Knock? Oh, he's over there. Okay, go there. Aim there. I'll still toss out the bomb. He's dead. So we are fine. Good. Juby. No. Go there. Okay. This one is not timed. Good. I need Juby to... Well, let me see. My buffs are wearing off, so I think I'm actually just gonna look around the, the dungeon for now, pick up the loot, have a rest, and then continue. I can see my Otherwise, we're gonna be too stressed trying to open the doors and keep our buffs up. <clears throat> so let's just chill here. We are picking up some stuff. Yeah, I think we also pick up something very important here for the lost brother. Penrod Anvaki's letter. Uh, Math Mathayan, my beloved brother. Read this and heed my words. This expedition to Yobaria is the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. This is pure madness. If you are lucky, you'll come back empty-handed, a fool in highs of all Gralton. But if, you but if unlucky, you won't come back at all, leaving your wife a widow, your children orphans, and me, other than forbid, the hair and head of our insane family. I beg you by every god and their mother, forget this expression of yours. Come home. Your brother, Pedro Don Vaki. Yes, yeah, so we, we have to deliver this to the, um, the guy in our barony. Is this better than what we have? 6 AC versus 5 AC. We lose 2 attack bonus. But we get one more point of AC. I think I'll keep mine for now. We'll look, we'll look over what we picked up later. Okay, so this area has been dealt with. We press the thingy. That part of the puzzle is done. Surprisingly, Knock Knock still hasn't died. I've been careful <laughs> trying to keep him safe, but... Well, not that careful. I've charged a bunch of times with him. And... Usually, he goes down. <laughs> Every so often. Okay, so let's see. We have... This thing that seems to be locked. So, I let's wait. Ready. Okay. Yeah, my, my enlarged person just wore off as well on Rigongar. So we are going to have a rest. Okay. In case this is trapped, back up. Together we stand. Listening as hard as I can. Robe of Fire. I think I like that. Wand of Freedom of Movement. 
and a composite shortbow plus two. The Robo Fire has a fire aura, which means we get plus two DC to fire spells, which is something that I like. This is also good, but I think I prefer the fire one for now. And the mind affecting one, it would go for Cordampina, but since she has the bogeyman, bogeyman's robe, I think I'm fine with her not having this. You have the plus two AC one. You have Art of Valor. Okay. I think we're good. I can see my Cyclops loot. Ah, before I forget, because we are gonna rest soon. I think this excess slot is, is just because I have Owl's Wisdom. It's going to disappear in a second. But for level 4, I'm going to take out Freedom of Movement and Divine Power. And I'm going to... I will also take out Protection from Energy. And I will just take 4 Death Wards. Okay, this seems good to me. Something that's also very powerful, and I think it's worth mentioning since we're here. Um, it might not be too obvious. But heal spells, like for example the spell heal, this will heal somebody, right, for a, lo a lot of damage, remove a lot of stuff, but if it is used against an undead creature, heal instead acts like harm. So... You can actually deal tremendous amounts of damage to undead enemies by using heal spells. And once you get mass heal, which is a level 9 spell, you can really do a lot of damage versus undead enemies. But if you are having trouble in this area against a specific enemy and you need more damage, heal is a very good way of doing that. Just wanted to mention that. Uh, it's not something I'm using because currently we have enough attack bonus and damage to kill anything in front of us. But there are times where it's not that clear. Uh, okay, so Juby, you can actually join us now. We've cleared out that room. So I want you for your knowledge checks. Juby lost, Juby lost. Da -na 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 -na. I will not falter. Okay, so, so come over here. I will see this through. Give the order. You require my assistance? Vordakai be praised through the centuries for he is the greatest creation, the greatest of the greatest. Difficulty 24. Okay, so we, we barely, we can basically never miss it, I think. Though we are buffed. That counts for something. Padded armor plus three. Wait, this is locked. So let's chill. I stand ready. Where now? I did it. <clears throat> I did. I will also mention something very interesting that I'm not sure if I've mentioned before, but there are times where you want to click something and click something or somewhere in the map. But your friends are like running along the way. And if you try and click it, you click your people instead. If you want to make sure that you actually click where you want to go, you can just press control. You can even see the highlight going away when I press control. This means that now if I press left click, instead of choosing her, I would just give a movement order to wherever I want to go. I don't know why I'm mentioning these things, but they are relevant. It's something that I use a lot. And sometimes it might, might not be obvious. While watching the videos, I'm just explaining how I do it. And I believe this is, this is true for all Owl Cat games. So Kingmaker, Wrath of the Righteous, and also Rogue Trader. Mortals are pathetic. Only the dead become closer to God. Okay, sir. We're gonna check out this hidden room here. Oh, 
it's also locked. Okay, so let's... I, I did it again over here. The the control thingy. Please not rap skull. I did it. I did. Come on, give me I useful items, dude. I think we are almost done in terms of... Wait, this is new. Wait, 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 back up. I'm not gonna explore <laughs> new areas unbuffed. I will say that much. We're gonna pick up the rest of the loot. We're probably gonna rest right there. And then continue exploring in that direction. But I believe that a single rest should be enough for us to clear the entire dungeon. And I think, and I hope, we can do it in this episode. I don't think I will need more time, but... I might be misremembering the... Um, the depth of this dungeon. Let us not, hesitate. Uh, not you, not you. On him. <laughs> Vordakai ordered us to die, we died. If Vordakai ordered us to rise, we will rise. We've been hearing a lot about this Vordakai. Curious to see who or what he is. Okay, I cannot get to that area currently, I don't think. This is not locked. I think it was a perception check. Okay, so let's go over here. Since I can't go over here. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe I can can't can't. There are many rooms. I would have to play around with triggers, which I don't want to do right now. The one sucky thing about me changing the buffs is that I also have to play around with my my mod right now. Otherwise it will break the buffing sequence. So let's see. Auto buff, long duration. It's gonna be easy though. It's just this one. So delete that. Yes, delete it. And we're gonna save it. Save, save, close. Okay. We have death ward. Do I want something different out of you? Could take Death Ward as well, but I think I prefer the False Life Greater here. Okay, so let's rest. We're gonna use rations. Let's put you over there. Can't cook here, so go over there. Okay. Somebody. Good. Let's do the usual. Man, just look at, at the amount of very useful buffs that Jubilos can provide to a party. It's kind of insane. How good uh, alchemists are. Inimosi 
Okay, so now usually <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to put Death Ward on the on the frontline characters because these are the ones that are going to be facing um, people throwing enervation at them, spells that drain levels, drain stats and whatnot. Or if they step on traps of negative energy, fighting enemy cleric cyclops, etc, etc, uh, you will want Death Ward on the frontline. What I typically do is, if I want to be extra safe, I would put Death Ward on my main character and then also on as much of my frontline as possible. But I think I can be safe right now just leaving my character back and I can just buff Death Ward on my entire frontline, including my Leopard. Because my Leopard... Okay, thankfully he's back at his regular levels because we rested. Let's just do this. And, I mean, I can do this, so I will do it. Okay. So we are well protected now. Let's carry on. Ah, before I forget also. <clears throat> Let's drink these things. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more traps over here, so let's inspire competence. Yeah. I will not falter. I did it. I did. This requires your attention. Did it without breaking it. What is the difficulty? Twenty-nine. Okay. This is apparently locked. Six potions of heroism. Shiny thing. I'm positive I found something. Stop. I did it. I did. Get it without breaking it. I am more shield. I did it. Oh, I'm kind of... <clears throat> okay. I'm back over here. Might as well pick up this loot since we're here. But right now what I want to do is I want to go this direction. And see what we find. And I want to see something here as well. Is this a free action or a, or a, a swift action? Inter special stance allows them to improvise away, blah blah. Can maintain, blah blah. The target, blah blah. The power, blah blah. It doesn't say. I think it's a free action. I would like to make double sure, but <clears throat> I cannot. I'm wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> Bitch. Eh, soul Eaters, I love them. And when I say I love them, what I really mean is they suck. My skills are getting rusty. Child's play. Cry not for the dead, for they are blessed. Cry for yourself, for life is suffering. Ah, damn, these soul eaters. I hate them so much. Twenty-five touch AC, ten damage reduction, immune to crits, plus twenty-six. I do believe they target touch AC. <clears throat> This is gonna suck, because these guys, when they hit you, they drain wisdom. Which is something you don't want to have happen to you, ever. Oh my god, I had my wand enabled, god damn it. Gosh darns it. 
Okay, let me see. Now, I'm not charging. I could have charged, but I'm not charging because I was afraid of traps. Let's back up here. So, if they focus on the Leopard, I'm mostly okay with this. Okay, you three go over there. You shoot there. Okay, let, let's make sure that he focuses him as well, not Valerie. By doing this. Okay, good. Another one! Wonderful! Okay, good. Go over there. Okay, good. These are the easy <clears throat> Soul Eater enemies, by the way. These are not the tough ones. I think this is also a timed uh, thingy. So, what I need for this is... Because I think the final thing we want to do is we need these three. The orange, blue and white. We know that orange is over there. Blue is over here. I'm not sure if... White's already done. Okay, so here's the deal. We're gonna send Jubilost over here. Uh, we're gonna have, for example... Cordon Penis stay over here. And the rest is gonna move in. So press that. Press that. And now we move in. And we have to go... Yeah, it's open. Good. Let's pick this up while we're here. Quickly now. Ah, okay, I'll do that later. But yeah, basically you want to have all three of these pressed simultaneously. Two of them are timed, the other one is not timed, so... You only have to worry about those two. Now we can move in, and I think as soon as we press this one, we're fine. Or am I missing something here? Ah, okay, we, we have to wait for the other ones to finish before we can press this one. So, Juby, well, everybody really, we're all gonna go to the place that had the knowledge check, which I think is over here. How are my buffs looking? Six... Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I will not falter. Give the order. What's new? Abyss calls to Abyss. I stand ready. Yes. You can thank me now. Cry not for the dead, for they are blessed. Cry for yourself, for life is suffering. Awesome. <clears throat> I have a feeling this is trapped. I'm up for so stay over there. Don't hesitate. Yeah, no. Soul Eaters, okay. Let us press on. Soul Eaters... Again, I'm not going to charge, because if this is trapped, I don't want to charge into a trap. <clears throat> what am I doing? I could toss an acid bomb to lure him in. Okay, let's just sing. Attaboy! We have four soul eaters. So everybody's gonna stand back. Okay. We're gonna have Mr. Leopard going in. 
I'm gonna wait for a good time to actually toss out a bomb. Fire the bomb over there. This should be good enough. Let's empower a fireball and toss it like over here. And I guess you guys can start. No, you're gonna wait for them to focus on the leopard and then we're gonna go in. Okay, good. Let's go. You goddamn bitch. He's aiming for knock knock. Which knife to use? Let's quicken a scorching ray here with impromptu sneak attack. Yeah, screw you, bitch. Do not target my knock knock. How are they only worth 67, 67 hit um, experience points? I know it's already divided by 6, but it seems so low. I am yours to command. Okay, let's I need to concentrate. Be wary of traps. Remain vigilant. This is feeling so fishy to me. Oh, I know what I am. This is the end. Okay. I think this is the end. Um, so what I know, or what I remember, I think, is that when you trigger something over here, I'm not sure if it's pressing this or talking to someone over here. These doors are going to open and Cyclops are going to come out. So... Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna keep everybody back and I'm gonna see if I can trigger this event with my leopard. I'm gonna haste first, however. Okay, so let's do a haste here. Let's invis knock knock. Invis yourself. Get displacement on you. Invis yourself. Let's see. I've been waiting yeah, okay. for you. Here we go. A tiny woman wrapped in a cloak studies you through holes in the cloth that hides her face. Her eyes are the green of young leaves. Okay, so who are you? I have no name. I'm just a humble messenger of the powers that protect people from evil. What powers do you mean? Speak plainly. It is not yet time to answer that question. But trust me, the day will soon come in which all that is hidden shall be revealed. And what are you doing here? There are times when you can't protect the living without visiting the dead. In the depths of blackest darkness lie the truths that will once more shine their healing light on the surface. Do you know anything about what happened in Varnhold? Strange and horrible things happen in these ancient lands. I know of what bothers you, have no doubt. My sisters and the powers that sent us know exactly what to do. That is all I can tell you for now. Hmm. What does the word Vordakai mean? It was the name of an ancient evil that once reigned in these lands. Worry not over it. For centuries now, it has been a little more than a word carved on old stones. Frightful, but powerless. Okay, so we have a good option here, and an evil one. We can kill her. Of the entire group that accompanied you, uh, wait, ah, one person survived. That corridor was thrown with the bodies of people you brought here to die. What is this exalted mission of yours that demands such sacrifice? What do you offer these people beyond suffering and death? <sighs> the defaced sister flinches, uh, neutral good, okay, from your words as if, the, as if you had a hit her. With a sob, she hides her face in her hands and sits on the sarcophagus. Her shoulders shake as she cries. You're right. You're right a thousand times, even if you don't realize why. 
But I... I am loyal to my sisters. And to the powers that sent us here. I cannot betray them. I just... cannot. Do you understand? Hmm. Trust us. We do not lie. Not to you, and not to these barbarians. We never lie about anything. We wish you only good. And the power that sent us wishes you good too. Don't... don't worry about my sisters. All they tell you is truth. And they're no, not going to kill you. It's kind of a very weird thing to say. No, no, they're not telling the truth. They're not lying. They're definitely not going to kill you. Mm. I came here to retrieve this. There are three of them, and all three must fall into our hands, no matter what the cost. As my sister sent you, I can entrust you with this one. Take it to the camp. It is very important that you do give it to her, directly to her hands. Do you understand me? So she's talking about... A brass incense burner shaped like a cyclops skull. I have one more important thing to do. I'll return to the camp once I've finished. Tell my sisters not to worry and not to look for me. Farewell. May the Green Mother protect you. Okay. <clears throat> and there we go. So the doors open, all the cyclops come out. And as you can see, it's not its not a very low number of enemies here. So, we even have like a boss enemy, a boss music. We're gonna back up. We don't want to fight in a position where we're gonna get surrounded. And I guess we can fight like here. So, let's get out a guarded earth over here. Uh, let's get Sense Vitals on you. Um, not gonna bother with displacement. We're gonna go for quick bombs and for force bombs. You are fine as you are. You have mirror images? You do. You also. Uh, so she has armor on. I'm still gonna try and cast Sense Vitals to see if it works. Or actually sing first. Stop it. Failed it. It's fine. Yo, where are they? Enemies, come on. We have guarded Earth. Let's move in over here. And let's start killing. We're gonna focus on... I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna wait for them to focus on my leopard before moving in. Okay, so you guys just chill a bit. Okay, go there, go there, go there. So, Stinking Cloud does nothing against undead enemies. I think it even says over here. Immune to... Nauseated. So, you cannot do anything like that to them. What I can do is nuke them. With some heavy hitting fireballs. So, something like... Here... I hope. And you can start tossing bombs on that guy. Okay, this guy went down. Let's have Rigonga go over there. Valerie as well. Knock knock as well. Cordampina is confused. Um, do I bother? I will just cast prayer, I think. Okay, let's go for a prayer here. Reflex save. My fireball went out. Let's toss out a quickened fireball as well. 
here. Okay. And now let's go for a controlled fireball so we don't hurt our friends. And you three can move in and start hitting. Good. Go over there. Let's quicken a sneaky Scorching Ray. Empower Scorching Ray. You guys are doing your thing. He actually held Knock Knock, but he's casting... <clears throat> so, something to note here. He held Knock Knock. So what I could do right now is I could cast my Remove Paralysis on him. But since he's not attacking, he's casting... Uh, what's the name? Um, channel Negative Energy. I don't really need to save him right now. If you were trying to attack, I would definitely remove Paralysis. Yeah, a lot of HP, goddamn. Okay, hold person on my character as well. Okay, now I feel like I'm, I will want the extra DPS. Let's save Knock Knock. It's fine. Everything's fine. We are all good. Why? The Raven. Before you is the same Raven as before. It sits, adjusts itself, then ruffles its feathers a few times as it tries to settle on its perch. Finally, it cocks its head to the side and affixes you with a single eye. Why spare the sister when you could rid yourself of her? Why let the weak survive? I feel like I've been going for too many chaotic good options. I don't want to change my alignment. I'm going to go for lawful neutral. She was no threat to my plans and spilling blood needlessly often causes more trouble. A wise answer it would be, if not croaked from the throat of a lesser race. Off with you. There are countless like you. Many of the lesser races who breed, suffer and die. Little more than snuff candles with no names to be remembered by. Hey, you rhymed. I'm not gonna tell you my name. If it is so, why do you keep hounding the steps of this lesser race? With a shriek call, the raven spreads its wings and takes flight. <laughs> okay, so I feel like everything in this area is done. We still have to explore this final section of the dungeon, this area right here. There's gonna be some loot, some mushrooms apparently, and also the exit. But other than that, I feel like the, the rest of the dungeon has been done. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave this final section for the next episode. We are a little bit over time, but I wanted to finish up the at least the combat sections of this dungeon before finishing up the level. I think I actually ended up fighting most of the fight outside of the Guarded Earth, which is kind of silly. But, you know, it happens. <laughs> I do want to see something, though, before I finish. Now that I mention this Guarded Earth. I want to see where I failed my... Save... Hold person. Will saving throw failed? Ah, right, okay. So we were outside of the guarded earth area. Right, because... We have a plus 13 will from wisdom, class bonus... Uh, class bonus from wisdom, from ring of luck, good hope, and cloak of resistance. Uh, so basically we rolled a 16 by rolling a 3 plus this 13. Difficulty was 20. If we were inside the hold person... Sorry. If we were inside the Guarded Earth, Let us not we would hesitate. get an additional 7 to our saving throws, which means we would be safe. Uh, I did cast this way too in the back. I should have cast a little bit more forward, but that's my mistake. But just notice that if I had been inside Guarded Earth, I would have been safe there. In any case... We're going to finish up, the, finish up this episode, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here in the channel with me, watching some Pathfinder and Kingmaker. As usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do. Leave a comment uh, below. 
If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more, many more videos coming out soon, and it's also a free and easy way to support the channel. I hope to see you all in the next episode, and until then, stay safe everyone.